really what was what was the first and most important thing that needed to be done when this government came to power in 2014 was to impose some sort of an order on the system. So what was the first reform that this government attempted to do was to introduce something called the Monetary Policy Committee with very, very strict targets for inflation control. Why? This was because until you have anchored inflation, nothing else can work. So the, the RBI Act was amended, a Monetary Policy Committee was formed with very clear target of, of, of an average of 4%, a midpoint of 4% with a range of 2 percentage points on either side. So a range of 2, two to 6% for inflation. And this has been hugely successful. So nobody imagined that we would manage to lower our inflation rate, which used to run historically in the 8 to 10 percent range, in fact, very often was in double digits, to one where we are very comfortably managing to control inflation. So much so, some people would argue we have been too successful. And in fact, the only time inflation has actually hit the edges of the target range is actually to the downside. It went out of it in 2017 and we are actually hitting it as we speak right now. Inflation as we speak is around 2 percent and one, there is some argument to say it may even be overstating the, the number. So this is a huge, huge achievement. Any other country that was attempting to structurally lower inflation by 500 basis points or thereabouts of what we were attempting to do would have gone into a complete recession. And yet we have done it. It's not something we are claiming to do. We have done it. Yes, it was very painful because when you suddenly lower inflation in this way, the real interest rates go spiraling out. And of course, it causes pain, particularly to the business community, but generally even to the government because obviously the real interest rate it was paying on government debt went spiraling out as well. So, what we ended up with, of course, was painful. For example, even today, a small business pays 12 percent on its debt. With inflation running at just 2 percent, you can imagine a thousand basis point in real interest rate is being paid by uh, the business community. Very, very painful. And I will come back to this issue a little bit later. But the first step in terms of radically lowering interest rates, uh, uh, inflation rates, has already been achieved. Now, why is this such a great and important achievement? Because you see, until you have anchored inflation on a long term basis, on a structural basis, you cannot bring down the cost of capital. And why do we need to bring down the cost of capital? Well, because if you don't bring down the cost of capital, then all the other problems that we try to solve will not get solved. So, for example, we talk about the fiscal deficit. Now, the primary deficit, i.e. the deficit of the central government, excluding the, the, the amount that we pay on existing debt, is only 0.2 percent of GDP. In other words, for all the things that the finance minister actually has control over, he's actually doing a very good job. You only have a primary deficit of 0.2 percent of GDP. So where does that 3.4 percent uh, of GDP deficit come from? Well, all of the rest of it is interest payments on past accumulation of debt. So really, we are all running very, very fast just to stay at the same place. And until you can structurally lower the cost of capital, you cannot fix the fiscal deficit. 